Okay, um, I'm Katie from what Katie Bohr. I think the probably two key things that I took out tonight were um, a transatlantic divide that perhaps the Brits aren't quite ready for advertising and maybe we need to catch up with the US in that front. And then I think also, and it's something that everyone always says time and time again with um, blogs, honesty and um, a sense of knowing your readership and valuing your readership. And it was a great evening. Wish you were here. Um, hi, my name's Steve Monaghan from Sane Communications. I blog for a website called selectism.com. Um, I was really privileged to be asked by Katrina to come and talk to people here and give an insight into whatever it is that I particularly do. Um, it was interesting to hear what other people have to say on the subjects and I'm glad that we got a few debates going without being too heated and sort of running outside of the pub. Um, I think what I got out of it more than anything was learning about how people have really started to appreciate the blog as a medium of communication that is now not so much just credible but is actually probably going to be the definitely the future. I think it was kind of, it definitely imprinted on me this evening that uh, blogging is obviously quite very much the future and magazines seemingly are becoming obsolete at the moment, which is a shame because I love them but there you go. But yes, I got a lot out of it and thank you to the Manchester Fashion Network. Hi there, my name is Mark McDonald. I'm from skimlinks.com. Um, I had a really interesting discussion tonight, particularly about um, you know, how to really make the most of the social media that's out there. Uh, points that I came away with, um, I, I think it's really important to, to listen to communities, not get hung up on you know, how do we get into Facebook or Twitter or whatever, but actually just listen to what's being said out there about brands uh, and merchants. Also, there was uh, quite an interesting discussion about um, advertising and other ways of, of monetizing uh, content on, on blogs. Um, personally, you know, I, I don't think anybody should be shamed about uh, realizing that blogs cost money and they can become a living. They can be a hobby and a great hobby and, and, and a, a, an amazing love for, for individuals. But um, there are some very serious bloggers out there wanting to do it full time. Uh, brands should never ignore them and also anybody out there who wants to become one of them should think about it seriously. It's very possible, it's not easy, but it's worthwhile. Hi, I'm Charlotte Smith and I work for Glam Media. I am the publisher recruitment manager and community uh, manager. Basically, I search for bloggers, I search for websites, and my job is to find the best UK properties. And I was very interested in the evening, not because I wanted to come here and scout and recruit, but I wanted to really see what people are talking about in the UK and how they see the blogger growing. Because a blog is different than a website. And I don't think that was made clear because some people talk about bloggers and then some people talk about websites. So I thought that it wasn't clear. And as well, I'm very interested to know how people monetize their site and if they want to because I kind of didn't agree with the ladies because I, I think all the bloggers in the room really wish they could stay home they could stay home and blog and feed their cat feed their children and pay their rent so I would like to know how do you survive on just blogging Hello, I'm Amanda from the Women's Room. Um, Jane Kellick and I write a blog on uh, women of over 40 and what they love and what they hate. And so we wanted to come here to um, talk more about it and to get some more readers, hopefully. Um, I thought the, the evening was, was terrific. I learned as much as I gave. I think the best thing about the evening for me was learning that we're at the cutting edge of everything. There are no rules in blogging and although we're very nervous, Jane and I, about starting it and oh, are we doing the right thing, actually we are doing the right thing just by doing it. And I think that's what I learned here this evening was that everybody feels the same. We're all making it up as we go along and I think that's really refreshing. And it feels like being a pioneer and I quite like that. Hi, my name is uh, Joan Liley. I'm an independent retailer and I came along to this blog, blog conference this evening to find out a little bit more about blogging, how I might be able to employ a blog into my business. Uh, what I discovered this evening was that the, the blog environment is very much a, a personal expression of um, what one might expect from uh, these sites and really not really linked to marketing in the way I'd expected. I feel it's more about customer services and expressing your opinion as to what you find good in terms of what you utilize online or on the, on the high street. And uh, from the information I received this evening, there's a lot of commitment to using blogs in a more personal way as opposed to marketing and that was very useful for me to know because I can see it as being really a very good feedback environment for understanding what customers want and uh, how I might reach out to them 
in a, in a better way and to uh, give them what they require. Um, hi, my name is Jill Culbertson. I'm from a company called Snow Valley. Um, I'm an online marketing consultant um, and I sat in the panel this evening. Um, I find it really interesting for me because I approach things from a very strategic view. I work with an awful lot of retailers and um, as a result of that, really learning about how, uh, how bloggers see things and really about getting into their minds and how, how I can help brands now work closer with, with bloggers has really been of interest to me and I certainly find it going to be of interest um, to a lot of my clients as well. Um, oh, I'm Barney from Etail Web Stores. I thought the key points about today were the importance of getting traffic onto your blog um, and the ways of doing it. Um, I would say there's various different ways of getting traffic on to your blog. Um, I would say it's very, very important for you to keep updating content and unique content for your blog. Um, the one thing I didn't think they brought up um, in the night tonight was the importance of adding unique content in order to get indexed on Google um, because a lot of the people were saying that it was important to link build and to make comments on other people's blogs whereas they didn't bring into effect the importance of actually getting new visitors to your site via people searching for specific search terms on Google um, and I would say that was the key for tonight.